Hey everybody, and so I am back to deliver my quick little crash course review on my thoughts on American Horror Story Hotel Season 5. Yes, I believe this is Season 5. So, basically anybody who's been rocking with me for the longest now, you know that I'm a big fan of Ryan Murphy and his work from American Horror Story to the recent um, TV show Scream Queens. And damn it, I knew I forgot. To, I was going to do a video about that. About, you know, I was going to give an overall review on Scream Queens or whatever. Shit, I might do that maybe later tonight or tomorrow or whatever. Anyway, um, so anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> so like I, hold on. So like I was saying, um, shit, shit, shit. Anyway, like I was saying, anybody who's been rocking with me, you know that I'm a big fan of American Horror Story. I originally got into the TV show um when season two had came out the asylum and what drew me in was the commercials for it the trailers just you know it really drew me in because i'm also a big horror fan so i watched that and then of course i was season three hands down like my favorite damn see oh god mm. season three the coven is one of my favorites and then after that would have to be asylum then freak show and then hotel and then the first season um american horror story it was just you know american horror story so i watched season two and i watched season three and when that when season three went off and you know i was waiting for season four i hopped on netflix and i watched season one and season one because a lot of my friends have different um this mixed reviews about the first season of american horror story but i actually liked it because like in turn, all five seasons are really connected when you think about it. Like, what what really kind of, like, started, like, making light bulbs go off in my head, this is just a side note, was when I was re-watching season three on Netflix, and I remember the episode when they tried to, like, kill Fiona, they tried to make her, you know, kill herself, whatever, OD on some pills, and she was telling, um, she was telling Myrtle Snow that, you know, be sure that they place my picture in the place where I've chosen downstairs, don't have them put me in the basement with that uh, disgraced Russian witch. And then if you remember, well, no, because, mm, damn, I don't really know if that connects it with, see, with the freak show season, because her character was German, but, mm, no, damn, that doesn't, because Russian and German, no, it doesn't, never mind. I was trying to make a connection, but I ended up failing. Anyway, like I was saying, so about Hotel. I was really excited when I first heard the news about it. I heard about who was, you know, the, the new cast members that they were bringing on to it, Lady Gaga, and they had got Matt Boomer to come back. Um, who else did they bring? They brought, like, like, a lot of new people in, and I really liked it. It was really good. And so, um, you know, with season five, I was really excited for it. Of course, I was, I'm always going to be excited to see Angela Bassett, uh, Sarah Paulson, um, shit, her, she's slipping me. Is it Kathy Bates? I think so. Wait a minute. Let me see. Damn. God damn it. Ugh, ain't this a bitch, y'all? Yeah, it is. No, 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 no. I know it's right. I know I'm right. It's Kathy Bates. God damn it. So, yeah, I'm always going to be excited to see them. And so, with this season, I really liked it because if, well, at first, I didn't know what it was exactly about. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what exactly the theme was. I, when it said American Horror Story Hotel, I thought that, okay, this is a hotel that is clearly haunted all the occupants the people who work there and the people who like the people or person who owns the hotel they died a long time ago and their spirits are haunting the hotel but really they are vampires but of course they're not the typical vampires with the fangs they just you know of course they just you know feed on blood and um of course they are they can go out and make other people vampires but again since they don't have fangs what they have to do is you know cut themselves and let the person drink their blood and therefore they in turn become a vampire themselves so you know that really intrigued me because of how ryan murphy did his interpretation or his take on van on the vampire culture it was really interesting to see where that went and so far i can say that i am really impressed by it um i was a little bit disappointed at first uh after they did that whole scene that whole episode with the kids attacking the school and then it kind of seemed like ryan murphy had sort of left that it kind of seemed like they left that whole storyline open and see that's kind of a fault it's kind of a bit of a fault if you will with american horror story how 
you know, they open up certain plot holes or they open up certain storylines, but sometimes they don't get back to them. And then you just then you be you left wondering, well, whatever happened to that? Because I remember I had tweeted out one time and I had got a couple of little retweets and likes on this tweet. I was saying, so we just going to forget about the vampire kids that's running amok in California and L.A. Like, are we just going to forget about them? After, you know what I'm saying? So but clearly we didn't because they had bought them back towards the um fall uh, finale break. They have bought them back, and of course, you know Angela Bassett came through and probably killed them. Cause I mean, like, it, even though even though it's even though it's more of them and it's just one of her, it's like, you know, child, I'm pretty sure she probably killed them. So, you know, eh, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. Also, like, I also like the uh, Halloween episode where they had got where you know this is also another part of American Horror Story that I really like when because he, he Ryan Murphy incorporates a lot of history a lot of history a lot of historical facts you can google this stuff yourself uh different things like with the coven season you know then dealing with witchcraft and voodoo it was a lot of history in that season uh the asylum there was a lot of history in that season the um, freak show there was a lot of history in that season like each season it's a piece of history and it's like you know it's very you know just you know google it like i liked how he included the whole like the different because it's like a, it's a numerous tons amount of notorious serial killers in america but he included the most i guess you can say the most notorious like the most i guess you can say well-known ones i guess because i could say gruesome but there's always somebody who outdid the the people who he chose to put in put in that episode it's always people who outdid them in just in terms of their you know heinous crimes so i liked how he include included them and i liked how for the zodiac killer they pretty much had the uh, person the guy dress up in like an all black attire and sort of be like an anomaly in a sense because to this day we don't know who the zodiac killer is we don't know you know if he's still out there you know you know what i'm saying so it's like i liked how he did that and just how you know they all had a story of how they went to the hotel and then the owner who Evan Peters plays, who Evan Peter plays, and actually Evan Peter, he's really impressed me this season, because in the other seasons, he was just, you know, like the young um, teenage slash early 20s type of guy, type of character, but this season, I would say he really outdid himself, because his character is loose, I would say his character is loosely based on H.H. H. Holmes, who was an actual serial killer here in Chicago a long time ago, like early 1900s, excuse me, early 1900s he you know made a hotel and pretty much it was a hotel of horrors in a sense because he pretty much um you know would kill guests allegedly or whatever the case is again you can google it and you know you will find that this stuff is actual and factual so yeah so um pretty much yeah i like i really liked gaga's character because she blew me away of course a lot of people were very skeptical about uh, about her being on the show with her being mainly a singer but see the thing is when it comes to artists, you know, musicians that transition into acting, you have those such as Jill Scott, Eve, Bow Wow, Ice Cube, um, Aaliyah, may she rest in peace. Um, who else? Shit, Will Smith, Queen Latifah, mm, Nikki, she's slowly getting into acting more a little bit. Um, oh, Kiki Palmer, even though she's more known for her acting than her music, that's no disrespect, it just, it's the truth um should you have people like the list goes on and on you have certain are you have a certain amount of artists who transition into acting oh ll cool j and they do really exceptionally well and then you have those who they transition but you can tell that they still need practice they still need um they still need to take classes not necessarily a coach per se because it's better to take classes than it is to just get an acting coach um, it was a debate, a discussion that uh, some people in the Black Filmmakers group on Facebook that I'm a part of, that they were having the discussion, and I freaking forgot. You know what, actually, let me pull up that, because I want to quote one of the people who said something about, like, he was basically saying something about, it was almost like a, the difference of having, like, an acting coach versus taking actual classes, which I actually agreed with, like, because it, make, it makes, who shit? I'm just really excited as you can tell. But anyway, it makes sense to, you know, get an acting coach than, you know, um, acting classes. So, no, acting classes than it is to get an acting coach. Damn it, I got this stuff confused. Anyway, like I was saying. Mm. 
anyway, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Boom. Oh shit! I just remembered. Damn it! The um that uh M not MTV. God damn it. VH1, that original movie, The Breaks, it comes on tonight. Ooh, bitch, I gotta watch that and record it. Child, yes, yes, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Damn it, y'all. I'm really trying to find this thing. God damn it. I'm really trying to find this post. Oh. Damn. And this is, I mean, this is still going to be a crash course video because, I mean, it ain't going to be that long. All right. So, seeing as though Facebook wants to play around with me, I got something. I'm going to just search within the group, and that way I can find a person's post. I know what I'm doing. Shit. I know what I'm doing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay, so what he was saying was, what the one person was saying was, an acting coach is for someone who has some acting training and competence already. Just like a vocal coach is for someone who already has the vocal competence and or training. People who have never actually formally studied acting slash drama need to first take acting classes with an instructor. Even if the person has, damn, even if the person has starred in several films, that doesn't mean that they are competent in acting theory acting process or acting methodology and then again let me see now an acting coach can be hired on slash for a set or even a stage production to help with non-trained actors and even with some trained actors in order to assist them or guide them or even meditate or either or, or either or even mediate between a director especially an inexperienced one and actors slash performers However, an acting coach's conversation and relationship with a trained actor on, on a set or stage production will be different than with a non-trained actor. So pretty much um so pretty much what he was saying is that, you know, with an acting coach, you really don't get the full fledged like however many weeks you attend the classes or how, however many weeks the uh the classes are four, six weeks, twelve weeks, seven weeks, however many, you know, however long the classes are for. I think usually it's between maybe six to eight weeks. I mean, I couldn't imagine the class being twelve weeks, but then again, you never know. But you know, also it depends on people if they can afford to pay for these classes because acting classes are very expensive. Like, let's not kid ourselves. I'm talking triple fucking digits. So it's like again, you know, invest in your craft, but just know this: dreams are very expensive. I don't give a damn what anybody tells you. Dreams are very expensive. I'm not telling anybody anybody to not live out their dreams, but just be prepared to pay the cost. That's all I'm saying. You know, you want to be the next Holly Berry or be the next Samuel Jackson or be the next Denzel Washington. But then again, nobody, no one can really replace them. But if you want to be the next big thing per se, you know, you got to do your homework and you just have to, you know, be ready. You know what I'm saying? And under, and understand this this is just a bit of a side note it is okay to say no okay it is okay to say no you don't have to accept every damn role half the damn near all the act, the big name actors have said no to a lot of shit before if you were to sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one talk with one of your favorite actors they will i'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind telling you the roles that they said no to and why but anyway like i was saying back to american horror story with this season, I am very impressed with what I've been seeing so far, and I cannot wait to see how the rest of this season plays out. Um, as we saw in the fall break finale, you know, Gaga's character basically got killed off. But as we know, with the hotel, when a person dies in the hotel, their spirit haunts the hotel forever and ever and ever. Which is why um, Evan Peters' character, he's always telling people, like he told the serial killers in that episode when they were all talking about how they met him, he told, he always, he, his rule is... Never kill a person in the hotel because they they will end up haunting the hotel. But however, my question is this. With all the people that he killed in the hotel, how come we never seen any of them pop up yet? You know what I'm saying? Like, all the people that he's killed, how come none of them have ever popped up? Was it, like, only him and the maid who are able to pop up? Like, in, um, 
and the guy who got, got married and then later had Angela Bassett's character kill. It's like, and also people were also talking about how they felt Angela Bassett's character was not really involved in this season as much. And I think that's due to the fact that she may have been, when this, when American Horror Story Hotel was filming, I think she may have also been here in Chicago filming Chirac at the same time. So it was kind of hard for her to be, I mean, she was damn near halfway, you know, she was X amount of miles away from L.A., which is where they, you know, filmed the fifth season at. So it's kind of hard for her to, you know, keep doing flights back and forth because, again, flights are expensive. I mean, regardless of what celebrity you are, like, shit, that shit gets racks up when you think when you get your bill or whatever or you see your, you know, your credit card or debit card amount, that shit racks up. So I think the issue with her not getting enough screen time, because even I felt that way, too, with this season that she could she should have been given more screen time. I think it was because she was here, too, during the summer. So, because I don't know when they filmed uh, Hotel, but whenever they filmed it, I'm pretty sure they didn't, they didn't finish that early, you know, with the season, because, you know, I, I don't know. But, um, also it's being reported that the sixth season for American Horror Story may be the last season. I'm hoping to God not, because this is just me being a fan. I hope that we get at least... 10 seasons that's all i'm asking for like six seven eight nine ten and then you can be done like i just I, don't, I ain't ready to let go of this show i'm not okay i'm not ready to let go of this show hell i still would like to audition to be on this show one day so listen i say 10 seasons and then you can stop then you can stop because hell however long better yet bitch let me pull up glee right quick because that was also another ryan murphy production even though i really didn't like the show per se but um let me see. How many seasons did they have? Shit. Oh, shit. Never mind. Damn. All right. Well, I'm going to shut my ass up. Okay, because, listen, Glee has six seasons. So that's why I'm just like, oh, shit. Damn. But regardless, that's Glee, and this is American Horror Story. So, in turn, again, ten seasons, and then you can stop. Ten seasons, and then you can stop, goddammit. It's all like it's so much other shit that you can explore in the world of American Horror Story. Ten more, just give me ten seasons and then you can stop. Because I mean, I know he has American Crime Story going on, and then the whole situation with Betty. Yeah, let me pull up Scream Queens right quick. Cause I mean, cause they got renewed for a second season, so because I believe they got renewed for a second season, so that's why I'm like. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got renewed for a second season. So, let me see. I know I'm all over the place, y'all, but it's just, you know, just, man, yo. Yeah, I believe that they did get renewed for, um, I believe that they did get renewed for a second season because, oh, and they actually won an award last year. They won uh, the Critics' Choice Television Award. The category was Most Exciting New Series, and they won, so shout out to them. But, um, yeah, so I believe they are getting renewed for a second season because they even said that, like, the second season is going to take place. It might be, like, um, a summer camp type of thing, so... I believe that they are getting another second season. So, and of course, I will be watching that for show. But anyway, um, yeah, with American Horror Story Hotel, I am really impressed with this season so far. The writing, the dialogue, the acting, just the cinematography, the close-up shots, the medium, sh uh, the medium shots, the long shots, the panning shots. Just you know, now I'm talking in my cinema, my director, cinematographer terms. But um. I just really love it, like, the the clothes, the just the everything, the special effects, the, uh, like, that's the shit that I am gearing towards doing one day, you know, bigger budgets, you know, get my foot in the door, hopefully get an agent in the next couple of years, you know, because for the longest time, even with my music, even though, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all, listen, yes, I am an artist too, a rapper slash singer, anyway, and I write my own shit. So anyway, um, even though y'all probably didn't know that I am an artist, I do have a SoundCloud. I just haven't uploaded any new music because I've been so focused on the movies. So, <sighs> stop. Anyway, so yeah, for the longest time, when it comes to my screenwriting and my music, this is just a side note. 
I have been very against getting like representation in a sense because I've heard so much of the horror stories, if you <laughs> the horror stories. I've heard so much of the negative, uh, you know, stories, if you will, about people getting screwed over and just you know people who they trusted and stuff like that. That I just didn't want that to happen to me. Not saying that you know I just didn't want it to happen to me. Like not to sound like a, and I'm pretty sure I'm not sounding like a diva, but it's just when you work so hard to you know, make it in life, especially make it in an industry that's very difficult to make it in, especially as a person of color, you know, you just want to make sure that the people who are representing, representing you, the your, you know, your team in general, are people that you can rely on, so for the longest time, I've been against that, but, you know, I, as, you know, 2016, we are in, and I've been talking with one of my fellow screenwriting friends, I've just been thinking about it, you know, that, you know what, maybe I should get an agent, somebody who can help me to get into these meetings with the big wigs and, you know, the production companies that I would like to work with and stuff like that. So, you know, just got to make sure that the person is right for me. That's all, you know, so, so yeah, but yeah, other than that American Horror Story for my American Horror Story Hotel, my crash course review. I give it an A, hands down. I really like it. I really like it, and I can't wait for it to come back. I think they come back to, not today. Huh, bitch, please. I think they come back this week, and I'm looking forward to it. I really am. So, yeah, let's get ready for this. So, American Horror Story is the shit. I love it. Keep it up. Please, Ryan Murphy, if you are watching this, or if somebody from your team is watching this, give me 10 seasons, and then you can stop. 10 seasons and then you can stop 10 and then you can stop because i think what they were saying is in an article that i read something about fx their deal with ryan murphy is coming like you know coming to an end or whatever but then on top but then my thing is with that is that it's being reported that this year 2016 they're going to try to do two seasons of american horror story at the same time well like it was going to be like one in the spring so i get to be honest with you, I think you can disregard Hotel because that's going to come to a close. But I, um, yeah, that's going to come to a close. But I think they're going to do like one season in the spring and then another in the fall. So it would be like season six and then season seven in a sense. So yeah, um, yeah. But other than that, again, ten and then you can stop. Ten and then you can stop. So, you know, and hell, I, you know, as I've mentioned, I am a screenwriter too. Like, listen, I'm not trying, I'm not, okay, let me just go ahead and clarify this for anybody who might be confused. Even though I shouldn't have to explain myself, I'm going to do it anyway. I am not, my purpose on YouTube is not to make videos so that celebrities can notice me and so that I can get all, be all hugged up and buddy-buddy and shake hands and take pictures and interview celebrities. That's not, you know, my end goal and I'm not knocking anybody who is geared towards doing that. When I say stuff like, oh, you know, for anybody who's watching this from so-and-so's team or if the person so-and-so is watching this video comes across it, that's just me acknowledging them because you never know who will come across your videos. Like, the internet is worldwide. You never know who's watching. Point blank, period. So, you know, to to disperse any, you know, any type of thoughts about me just doing this just to get on, that's absolutely not what I'm trying to do. So... I'm not really looking for a handout. I'm not like, oh, help me out. Da, 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 da. Like when I say stuff like that, I am pretty much joking for the most part. Like unless I was really desperate, which I'm not. It's just just to clarify some things. That's all. But anyway, as I was saying, 10 seasons and then you can quit. But other than that, I really liked American Horror Story Hotel thus far. And you know what? For those of you all who are watching the season is along with me, you know, comment down and downstairs in the description and at comment downstairs in the comment section and let's have a conversation about this season do you like it and what do you think the next season will be um i oh you know what another thing this is before i before i leave again another thing i really love it when the fans um come together and they come up with different theories for what the next season will be it is so oh it's so awesome to it's it's so awesome to like read the different ideas for what the next season could be because like man people be blowing me away like child listen i will give them the award for best fan fiction ever because bitch and to be honest with you because when season three had ended and season four which was free which was freak show was coming out a lot of people were saying oh it's gonna be american horror story circus or oh it's gonna be american horror story freak show and like you know circus freak show damn near the same difference lo and behold bam 
what happened. Freak show. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, when it came towards this season, people were saying that it might be hotel or it might be, like, um, old Hollywood, like, the golden years of Hollywood back in, like, the early days, 1900s, when Hollywood was just starting out. So it's, like, a little bit of both almost in a sense. And then some people was like, oh, it's going to be, like, an American Horror Story um sleepaway camp or oh it's gonna be like american horror story rosewood with the aliens however ryan murphy did say that he doesn't really want to touch upon the aliens because it's not intergalactic horror story it's american horror story um and then also another funny thing is that in the earliest days of american horror story when it just started out when it just started out uh, ryan <coughs> oh i'm sorry and Ryan Murphy was being interviewed about it. He did say that he would never do a season on vampires. But lo and behold, we are on a season that's about what? It's about vampires. And so with that, what I want to say is screenwriters, directors, you know, people are always, we are always changing our minds constantly. Like I can tell you from personal experience with filming my first film, Confusion, Diary of a Confused Vampire, which is on my YouTube channel. Please be sure to look at that. I can tell you from firsthand experience being on the set and you know if it wasn't me it was my actors who would like sort of change the scene in a sense and nine times out of ten the shit was you know it turned out perfectly and also just an update me and my friend slash co-producer slash co-writer stephanie are you know aka queen alley we are still working on getting the uncut version done we so far got the intro done uh, working on the first scene and just you know pretty much getting everything done like so that you guys can see all the stuff that you missed from the first film. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> so like I was saying, um, yeah, we are always constantly changing our minds. So even though Ryan Murphy said that he would never do a season on vampires, I think he might have said that during the time, and you can correct me on this if I'm wrong, he probably said that during the time that Twilight was still like a big thing, and he probably didn't like the way that, you know, other people were portraying vampires. And so with him, I guess... If he was going to do a season on vampires, it was going to be a, a not so traditional way of vampires in a sense. Like, yeah, they do sort of, they it, the story does revolve around them coming out at the nighttime and stuff like that. You know, because it is a horror story, blah, blah, blah. But it's way different than, I guess, what you would expect from a Dracula or Nosferatu or Twilight or whatever the case is, the originals or True Blood or Vampire Diaries etc etc it's way different than what you would expect from those from those franchises so you know i'm really pleased with what he has done so far and you know keep up the good work he's one of my inspirations and again 10 seasons and then you can be done and that is all i have you guys for sure this time ain't no oh wait a minute one more thing because if i do remember something shit we can probably discuss that in the comments section so i will see you all a little bit later peace love and happiness bye See you guys.